good morning everyone and welcome to another video today i am doing a day in the life of getting my hair dyed which is really crazy because i've been thinking about it for ages and i'm actually finally doing it i just thought i would like document the day and we're starting the day with biscoff on toast and a cup of tea the best way to start your day <laughs> I haven't brushed my hair, I don't know if I'm supposed to. I really feel like I didn't get much information given to me about dyeing my hair. Like, I got a allergy test done, like, three or four days before the appointment, um, which was, like, on the inside of my arm. <laughs> I didn't have any reactions, so I guess I'm good to go. And yeah, so I'm gonna leave in, like, ten minutes, just eat some breakfast. I think I'm going. Quite excited, but it's gonna be weird. Like I'm so used to having my hair like a natural colour. And yeah, also very nice day wearing a dress. I was thinking about wearing sandals, but I don't want to get like hair on my feet. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear trainers. I feel like it's gonna take a lot though to get used to it. Sorry, I'm just ducking under the leaves. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some food now because I was there for like four hours and I'm starving. There's like a vegan zero waste and cafe type of place, like 10 minutes down the road, so I'm just walking there and hopefully they have some yummy food for me.
I am back home now. I really feel like I needed a day off. Like a day off is exactly the thing that I needed in my life. I went to a little cafe slash zero waste shop that did really nice food and I got like a little, it said that it was a toasty, but it was like something on toast. It was like chamomile and caramelized onions. And I also got a brownie, but it was really, really crumbly and the pigeons like started eating all the crumbs that fell on the floor, <laughs> which was, yeah, interesting. It's been a really long time since I've like gone out like and did stuff by myself. I don't know, like obviously we've been in lockdown and stuff, but yeah, it was nice to like go to go for lunch by myself and then uh, came home, made a matcha. I was really suddenly craving like a smoothie or like a juice, but this will do. Uh, the hair appointment went really well. I feel like I'm not used to my hair, but I actually really, really like it. And it's the way that she did it is like, it's gone all ringlessy and cute. <laughs> I was gonna do a bit of reading. I was reading in the hair appointment because I was there for like four hours. <laughs> and yeah, here's the hair. I'll like try and get like a 360 light that was up. So it is actually the next day, just classic me. I always forget that I'm filming halfway through the day. <laughs> the top of my hair is the same as before and it's just all like the bottom. I try and spin around, I'm sat on the floor. So I've got a light there, hopefully you can see. But yeah, this is the back. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is the hair. It's really cool the way that it's been done, like, um, the strands of hair themselves. Like, that one's completely blonde, but, like, some of them, like, half blonde, half not blonde. The way that she was doing it was, like, she was backcombing some of the hair and then, like, painting on the dye. And then she scrunched it into the ends, so, like, the ends are blonde. We were trying to get, like, a like a natural feel to it. This strand is really blonde and then there's some like at the front which are less. Like I don't, that one's like basically natural. I didn't really know what I wanted. So when I went in I asked for a balayard. She asked me like what kind of I was looking for and how high up I wanted the balayage to go and I actually didn't know what I wanted. I showed her a couple of pictures on my phone and then we looked through some pictures together on Pinterest because she said that the photos that I was showing her, their hairstyles were different to how I wear my hair and she wanted to make sure like I understood how the colours would look like on me and stuff before she did it. So before she did anything she wanted to understand like exactly how I wanted the hair to be which I thought was really good um, but obviously I trust her because she's the hairdresser and I booked it specially with like this specialist. So she was like the curly hair specialist and she's also like a balayage, speci balayage specialist. So I kind of did trust that she was gonna do the best kind of job for me. I'm really not used to it. I keep looking in the mirror and being surprised that that's my hair. And like, there are some bits that are lighter than others, which again is something that we talked about together was making sure that it wasn't all like one tone. Like I wanted it to be like multi-toned, like kind of like sun-kissed and it's gonna change the more time I spend in the sun. And like, it's actually really all exciting and new. <laughs> I've had my own natural hair for so long, pretty much basically my, all my life. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice change. And I think it looks cool. I've always been kind of jealous when I've seen girls who have hair like this. And um. I'm now one of them. Also not sure if I mentioned, but I went to Bleach in London. So I follow Bleach online for a really long time. They sell like home dye kits and over lockdown, like so many people, cause obviously everyone was getting like the fronts of their hairs done and like underneath their hairs, bleach blonde. And um, I thought about dyeing my hair myself and I just really did not think it would work. I'm really glad I didn't. There's no way zero chance at all that I would get my hair to be this colour in this style like of dyeing by myself I just wouldn't be able to do it when she first like washed the dye off I was a bit scared because it looked bright yellow <laughs> um but obviously they've like put toner on it and I also got like a shampoo and conditioner which 
is in the other room like I'll just go get it so basically I got a shampoo and the conditioner was free so we went for the silver color so silver shampoo silver conditioner and she told me not to use it every single time I wash my hair it makes it more like lighter silvery I guess blonde color and obviously I'm going for like a caramel vibe but it could go too dark or <laughs> I don't really know we'll see first experience but yeah basically I'm gonna use this every other week or maybe even every third week so like a few times a month and yeah if it goes too ashy color then I just stop using the conditioner for a bit so I feel like these will last me a really long time because I don't wash my hair that often <laughs> and yeah it was actually really nice the whole thing um she said that it was good that I didn't brush my hair before I went because I did debate that at the very beginning of this video I'm pretty sure I said that I wasn't sure if I should do that or not so she said that it was good that I didn't and then she brushed my hair for me <laughs> and it honestly was there's just so much of it I'm trying to think if there's any like questions I might get asked that I can answer now but I think I've covered it like I asked for balayage I went to bleach London I went to the Brixton branch I think there's like two or three others I would recommend looking on Pinterest and sharing pictures to the hairstylist of what you want if you're thinking of getting your hair done and yeah oh the process took like four hours I think my appointment was from 10 and I left at like half two so it was like four and a half hours definitely take like a book or something if you're going because <laughs> you will spend a lot of time just sat in the chair waiting I think that's everything let me know what you think I personally actually really love it yeah thank you so much for watching my video if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe down below I will see you in the next video which will be the very first part of the moving vlogs because I am moving house next week and we've already started packing things our boxes here behind me a suitcase everything is happening really quick actually <laughs> but there will be more of that in the moving vlogs it's either going to be two or three parts i'm not sure yet but it's definitely coming next and yeah thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of my hair let me know if you have any questions about my hair or getting my hair done or anything that i haven't actually covered in the video and yeah, I will see you next week. Bye.